So if you go out to the desert on the right day, you can actually just hear the desert make this booming sound. When you first hear this, your natural reaction, and everyone I've seen, is they look up when they see this because it sounds just like a propeller-driven airplane. Once you get used to it, you can actually train yourself to look down, and you'll actually see the ground moving, a little bit like a speaker. I first got interested in it, though, after some students had gone out to the desert and brought me back a jar of sand. And it was just interesting, because again, when you have a jar of sand on a small scale, and it's from one of these booming sites, it does make this funny, what we call burping sound in the jar. And that got us interested. We did experiments on two sets of dunes in California, the uh, Dumont Dunes and the Eureka Dunes. Uh, we started going out to the desert, uh, and we did it for quite a few years with undergraduates kind of slowly making progress in terms of our measurements and continued working on it with graduate student Nathalie Vreend, uh, who finished her PhD in 2010. And really with the help of Rob Clayton, um, we would use a series of geophones, a geophone's like a microphone, um, that you could stick into the dune. We could really measure uh, not only the frequencies of the sound, but we could also measure um, the, the wave speeds uh, in terms of the waves moving through the dune. What we were able to find with the dunes is they have an internal structure. Down about two meters is a uh, hard interface. That top two meters during the summer dries out under the summer heat. And as a result, its velocity drops considerably. So it forms this kind of sandwich. And that's exactly the same principle that an organ pipe works on. You trap energy within the pipe. In this case, we're trapping it within the center part of the sandwich. And that's what causes the boom. We've been out there a couple times where it just happened naturally. But we usually, when we go out, we would trigger it. And we trigger it by having a number of people in unison slide down the dune. And we would always call it, you know, science by the seat of our pants. There's been many references to these kinds of sounds, again, since back to Marco Polo's time, and I think that's what makes people more interested in this problem. It's something maybe they've heard about, but never really had um, understood what really what was going on or, or where you could hear it or why you would hear it.